Hey everyone, my name is Justin, also known as Remnant, and welcome to my first ever Planet Coaster video. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I have a really crappy mic, um, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, I'm super excited to um, kind of be a member of the uh, YouTube community as well. Um, so before we go, uh, before we get to what's going on on the screen, um, I thought I would take, uh, you know, just a few seconds to introduce myself. Um, if you are part of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 community, or if you frequent um, uh, Shy Guys World a lot, then you'll you'll probably recognize me. Um, I never really created anything uh, super noteworthy, but um, I did love the game, and I still love the game, uh, and I love sharing um, sharing my work and seeing other people's work too. So that's something I still definitely love to do. Um, I really like seeing what's going on in that community still. Um, but uh, Switching over to the Planet Coaster community wasn't as intimidating um, as I thought because a lot of other Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 players were already um, making that same transition. Um, so it's been nice seeing like familiar screen names um, because I, I, it kind of like shows that you know I'm not the only one uh, that's making the move to this brand new community. Um, so uh, when when Planet Coaster first came out, I thought it was like amazing. It looked like so cool, and I still obviously I think still think it's amazing. Um, but I was kind of overwhelmed by the amount of content um, that was coming out that was like super like quote unquote unrealistic um, and over the top. Um, and while they like while they look amazing uh, and beautiful, um, it it just wasn't like my jam because um, I'm I'm so used to building like more like realistic parks and. Uh, realistic builds and um, when I saw this I was like gosh like I don't know if I'm going to be able to you know make the stuff that I was so used to playing um, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um, oh and for forgive me if I'm like talking about <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 a lot that's just the game that I um, have been playing gosh since like 2006 or something um, so I'm, I'm so used to that and um, so moving over to this was kind of frustrating at first because there's a huge learning curve and it's, uh, you know, for me at least, it wasn't just something that I was, I was able to jump into and make like these masterpieces. Um, so it's been hard. Um, and something that's been hard uh, has kind of been like um, building to scale um, and building, you know, trying while trying to also, you know, uh, stay realistic because I think that a lot of us don't know you know uh, how things look until we put like a person next to it and it's like 5,000 times bigger than it should be um, so that's been a challenge and uh, um, uh, Mass Bandit and N7 have definitely like kind of like I think paved the way when it comes to building uh, things that are more realistic um, they have a series on YouTube that's like amazing and they've built this awesome park together um, called No Name Landia and I'm sure if you guys are Planet Coaster fans I'm sure that you guys um, have already heard of them and have already subscribed and stuff but if you haven't please like please subscribe to them and and just check out what they're doing because um, they are super awesome and just like super nice guys too like they're not like weird like a lot of other some other people are uh, <laughs> Um, so I guess we should just get into what we're doing on here. Um, I'm trying to base this, this idea, um, off of a, um, I think it's like a wildlife preservation that they have in, um, in Florida, gosh, in Florida, and it's called Silver Springs, um, and it's going to be like loosely based off that and I, not even the like animal preservation part. It's just the fact that it's based around this huge, like, um, I think it's like a natural spring or it's, it's like this really cool, like pond or like lake. Um, and the water is like crystal clear. Um, and it's so cool because like they have like these boats, um, that have like the glass bottoms and um, it, it just like has a really cool feel. And I, I don't think that I've um, seen a lot of people do like, at least what I'm imagining in my head <laughs> um, in Planet Coaster yet. It's just like really natural and it's really lush. And uh, something, something that I had in mind was like, how can I have that kind of feel, but put like build a theme park around it? <laughs> um, so 
uh, that's kind of like something I'm challenging myself to do. Um, as far as like architecture goes with this park, um, for the main entrance, um, I'm going with like a more, um, I don't know if I would call it generic. I think it has some generic vibes in there, but it also has some Main Street-ish Disneyland vibes. Um, I, but I think it's just, you know, adding some like some detail, some some uh, some flair, because this park definitely is not going to be like a low budget park, um, but it's also not going to be like super high, like Disney, Disney standard park. Um, but it's going to be like, you know, in between in, in between there. Um, so right now, this is kind of like, um, I guess not the ticket booths, but it's just like where you walk through um, the gates, basically, to get to the park. Uh, I'm really bad at, like, my terminology when it comes to theme parks, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I'm just, you know, kind of, like, putting finishing touches on it. Um, I made that custom spire to match, like, the the roof pieces. Um, so hopefully that, that looks good. <laughs> color scheme right here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I seem to gravitate toward that maroon color um and like that teal color but i dig it like i think they look really good together um and i'm hoping that um i'm able to tie it with everything else that i'm building and something that i have a uh trouble with is like being too like repetitive with colors so trying i'm gonna try my best to break from that um something that i learned actually from watching Ruble, Ruble Trillions and um, Commando Santa's um, Jubilee Gardens series is like they're he uh, they were saying that like I guess Disney kind of like bounces the uh, the colors on Main Street like there'll be like a color on one building and then like a color from that building will go on to another one so it's not like super repetitive but it's still like it still works and like it doesn't confuse like your eye so that's something that I definitely want to practice um, and get better at. But for this um, for this main entry plaza, a lot of it is the same uh, color palette just because I didn't want it to really look like, you know, its own themed area. I just want it to be like the entrance of the park and then you walk into all the theming and stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I'm putting the finishing touches on like the underside because I hate when it looks messy. Um, and just adding some lighting. The lighting in this game is actually super cool. Like, I was really digging the lighting. Um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I was playing this on a Mac, <laughs> and it was literally a joke. Like, it was the worst thing in the world, but I was able to, like, learn all of the tools and, like, stuff like that. Um, but something that I'm kind of nervous about is, like, building roller coasters. <laughs> Because I, gosh, I like never even built roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I barely did. I barely uh, built them. And, and I think anything that I had on the forums never had a roller coaster, which is so like lame when you think about it. Um, so I'm hoping like either I'll just, you know, magically be able to build a roller coaster or some of you guys will be like awesome and like, I want to team up or something and create something for my park. I'm not really sure if I want to have like legit roller coasters or like really themed roller coasters like Thunder Mountain or stuff like that. Um, something that's really themed and, you know, doesn't, isn't just like a track that's like on supports. Um, we'll see. Uh, like I said, this park is kind of a higher budget. So I feel like having super themed rides like that um, is doable. Um, I'm, I'm kind of comparing it to like, like a, I'm I'm in color I'm in Southern California so like my main parks are like Disneyland obviously um, uh, like Sea World I love Sea World a lot of people like have hate against it but I love it I'm from San Diego so <laughs> um, and uh, like Knott's Berry Farm stuff stuff like that where it's like there's maybe not not so much Knott's Berry Farm. There's a lot of theming in Knott's Berry Farm, but they also have a lot of, like, um, just generic stuff, too, which is cool, but um, I think I want this to be a little bit more of a high budget. Um, so we'll see where that goes uh, when it comes to roller coasters. I'm still scared of doing that, but it's all good. 
Um, what I'm building right now is I, yeah, this is like where you actually buy the tickets. Um, and st I'm sticking with that same color palette of that maroon and that yellow. I eventually change that yellow. Uh, it's not like that pale yellow anymore, I don't think. Um, in, in this video it might be, <laughs> but in the park now it's not. It's kind of like a darker, it's like a mustardy color. It, it looks like new paint. Right here it kind of looks like sun washed. Um, and I added these roofs, but I think, I, yeah, I definitely changed them because that doesn't look good to me. Um, and I was trying my best for the in entrance area to stay away from those, like, the spooky DLC Main Street roofs, but gosh, I like them. I like them so much. They look so nice. Um, and it definitely does kind of have a Disneyland Main Street uh, feel, but... At this point, I didn't really care. I thought that it looks really nice. Um, so I, I stuck with it. And um, uh, I think you'll also realize that, like, I'm not really building the park file right now. Um, I'm just building on, like, a separate map. That's For some reason, that's something I like to do. I don't really like building um, straight on the, uh, the park map at first. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm able to, to do it. I've always been like that though, so I know everyone's different. Um, but this is kind of cool, just kind of like you don't really like have any like rules on where you need to put in anything yet. You're just kind of building, and then you can place it in later. Okay, this right here was a huge fail, huge fail because <laughs> I saw it. I think I saw it in No, no Name Landia, and then I saw it in Jubilee Gardens, and I was like, that looks so cool. I'm gonna do that too. And I just I wasn't able to do that. It literally looks like that building is giving side eye, like. When you, once you look at it, the signs look like eyes, and the building looks like it's done. Like, it just looks finished with what I'm what I'm doing. Um, so I, I think I think in this video that I do uh, delete them, and I just put, like, a regular sign. That looks so bad. <laughs> that looks terrible. Um, but yeah, so I put um, some backstage access because we're really realistic on this channel. And there, you know, it's jutting out from the wall, which I didn't like. Um, that's something that I that I struggle with because a lot of people do the windows as walls method, and that's something that I'm having trouble with because, you know, sometimes I want to have that wood texture and it's just not there when you use windows as walls. Um, so there's going to be some times where if there's a window jutting out of the wall, which, you know, I'm not super into, but hey, you got to do it sometimes. Um, I. Th don't know yet if I've added this to the actual park map or if I'm still building on the, the test one, but um, this fountain is cool. This is something that could be found in the real uh, Silver Springs um, that I'm basing the idea off of. I don't even know what I'm going to call the park yet, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. If you don't, it's completely fine because there's literally like nothing in the park yet. <laughs> um, but uh, something that's really unique about this fountain that I think is cool um, is kind of trying to blend it in with the pavement or with the bricks that are underneath. Um, there's going to be like a brick path underneath this once I put it in the actual park file, but it's like kind of like a seamless, um, like a, it goes like straight from the path into the fountain. Um, I was moving my, my hand up and down, but I realized that you can't see it. <laughs> so after this, uh, we go back to doing more um, stuff with the um, entrance plaza, and I think we're in the actual park map now. Um, I was changing one of these ticket booths into, um, I think I was trying to make like some bathroom stalls, and I was moving it like everywhere because um, I didn't really know where I wanted to put it. Um, but you can see here that I'm using the windows as well as method. Um, yeah, so I would, something that I struggle with a lot with entry plazas is like knowing just like where to stop the buildings. Like, because I'm not good at like ending like rows of buildings, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm rambling, so forgive me. But I was just trying to like think about like realistic parks and being like, okay, I, there's like, there's always like information stands and there's always bathrooms. Sometimes there's lockers, but most of the time they're in the park. Um, but I knew I needed to, I wanted to add a, uh, you know, restroom outside of the park. Um, and so I just didn't really know where to put that. So I ended up 
I think I end up putting it on the right side of the um, the entrance, um, which we're going to get to soon. But um, I also wanted to um, not use the Main Street um, roofs anymore because I just felt like it was a bit too repetitive. Um, so yeah, I ended up putting it on this side. But then I end up taking those buildings to the left of it out and just scooting it next to the to the entrance and I think it just looks a lot cleaner um and not so like it just there's just too many buildings and they're curved and to me it just looks messy um and just like it, it just all looks too repetitive so I ended up just deleting those ones and um yeah yeah so here I was trying desperately <laughs> to make the paths work in my favor and I just ended up putting all this like these walls or these roofs underneath um yeah so here I go I'm placing it I think that's where it is now in the park um and I think it just looks a lot better it looks a lot nicer look at all those archers they're in line for the bathroom just waiting um yeah and i had to like separate the roofs to make it like their own building just because the the grid on here just wasn't working for me um but yeah sorry guys if i'm just rambling i don't really know what to do yet when it comes to uh when it comes to making videos this is a whole new thing for me um yeah, so I was trying to add some signs to this. I really actually like the look of um, those, like, Western signs. I know a lot of people, like, sink them into the wall, but I really like what they actually look like. Um, I Yeah, that restroom sign was, like, huge, so I just removed it. Um, so here I'm making some backstage uh, or some gates to get into the backstage. I see people do, like, the method where they put, like, hinges on it. I'm, like, I did it, but I think I, like, did it really, like, really wrong. <laughs> like, it doesn't look, it didn't look that great. So, that's just something you can skim over um, when viewing it. See, like, that looks wrong. Like, that's wrong, right? I had I had no idea what I was doing. But it's all good. Um, so, to the, um, to the right of that, I'm going to put, like, a, um, a picnic area. Um... And that's something that I thought was, like, semi-realistic, <laughs> because I, I think that there's a lot of picnic areas um, at parks. Like, Disneyland has a picnic area in the front, and SeaWorld has a picnic area in the front, and it's great because literally no one uses them. But I feel like you, like, kind of have to have it. <laughs> like, you have to have, like, a seating area or, like, some benches where, you know, the the few, like, the one or two families that do decide to, like, eat, like, out of the park. Um they need a place to chill, like, they need a place to relax, so, um, that's something that I definitely wanted to, to, to make, um, and it kind of helped, um, break up, like, the buildings, and, uh, not make it so repetitive, and it was a way to add some, like, some greenery, and, um, those hedges really kind of helped to bring in some, like, some more, like, rounder shapes rather than just, like, these square buildings, and, um, it helps to add some, um, a more, like, organic feel with the hedges, uh, they're, like, super versatile, um, so I'm excited with how that came out. Um, this little uh, cover, this um, arbor, I guess it would be called, um, it was kind of a pain, and I think it looks like crap from the top. Um, but once you're like under it at peak view, it, it's really nice looking. It, I think it looks really cool. Um, I, I think this is how they actually work. Um, but if anyone, like, builds these, <laughs> like, as their profession, like, I'm so sorry. Please don't get offended. I didn't look up how to, I didn't really look up, like, I, I, I just know what they, like, look like, like, from people's backyards. <laughs> um, but to the right of that, I end up building, um, like, a little cafe, which I think I'm going to take out because it's, I don't think it would be real realistic to have an actual, like, cafe in the front. Um, maybe I'll put, like, vending machines or or maybe just, like, someone with, like, a cart or something. Um, but, oh, okay, I also added some of Gaming Koala's amazing little trash bins. I love the way that those look. Um, and I'll definitely put those in the, um, the description 
so that you can, can have those too. Um, but they're so cool. They like add like such a perfect touch. Um, but I think guys, I think that I am um, getting to the end of this time lapse and there's some cinematic shots at the end. Um, but if you guys don't already, please um, follow me um, on Twitter. Uh, wow, I'm literally looking at my phone right now because I forgot my Twitter handle. But I think it's just Remnant Boy. You know what? I don't think it is. One second, you guys. Just take take a second. Okay, yeah, it's just at Remnant Boy. So that's easy. Uh, so follow me there. I post a lot of stuff, um, a lot of like random thoughts. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been awesome. It's been awesome kind of like talking uh, and sharing like what I've been doing. It's not something I've never done before. Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this park, enjoy this video. Hopefully this isn't my last one. I think I'll be able to do more of these. Um, I'm really, I'm really digging how this entrance um, turned out. So I hope that you guys do too. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.